calm down, okay? Just calm down. What's the situation? We've got another jumper. <laughs> And that's pretty much how I reckon it would have happened. <laughs> okay, rack them up. Is it just me or has this table got a lean to it? You have been stopped for the purpose of random breath tests. Have you been drinking today? Uh, yeah, I had a couple of drinks at the party. Really? Cool! Have you had a drink in the last 15 minutes? No. Oh, that's a shame. He must be thirsty. Can I please have a look at your driver's licence? <laughs> and you're stuck with it for 10 years. <laughs> hey, I'm blown to this. Come on. <laughs> Snuff. Oh, you're under the limit. So you can drive me home. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Where do you live? <laughs> hey! <laughs> mm, looks like you've done your... Hostilities between North and South Korea are once again at boiling point. Tensions began when South Korea threw a frisbee over North Korea's border. <laughs> The North refused to return the frisbee until the South cuts overhanging branches said to be blocking North Korea's stormwater drains. <laughs> South Korea then turned their hose on their neighbours before the North responded by playing loud music until 3am <laughs> and then launching a nuclear strike. Do you see him? Yeah. I see him alright. This will teach the bugger. We've tried all we could. I'm terribly sorry, but she's dead. <coughs> tired. <laughs> dead tired. That's Mr. Jeffrey Dujon. Really? Unbelievable. Hey, who are those guys? Yeah, they're the redheads. They've got fair skin, so they burn easily. What's this? Hey, um, you want some food? You sure? Got an umbrella? Come on. You'll be right. In your hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <pay> that. <laughs> uh, I'll give you Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, look. They've left one of their mates behind. But you're going to have to make a run for it, mate. Friendship, do you go from the hello and nod to the kiss and hug? Oh, hi, how are you going? <laughs> Clearly, that was too soon. <laughs> oh, hi, how's it going? 
<laughs> okay, hey, how's it going? What's going on? Oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> no, that, what? Oh, I'm just trying to say hello. Hello? Hello? It's rude. What's with the suit? Did you get my message? No. I wrote it down next to the phone. Oh. Someone from the council rang. A truck full of nuclear waste overturning the driveway, releasing deadly toxins into the vicinity. <laughs> Should be right by Monday. I cannot believe that you forgot to pass on that message. Sorry, honey, I know I should have told you, but I did write it down. <sighs> oh, great. <laughs> Down. Head and put one foot in front of the other. Okay? Alright. I can do this. Oh. Ah. Hey, that's it! You'll be up and about in those heels and nose up. Come on, the rest of it. Keep up. Oh, quick, John, I left the kitchen door open and a bird's got in. Can you please? Again. I know. All right. Where? Come on, shoot! Come on, get Come on, shoot! Come on, get out! Come on, get out! Shoot! Come on, get out! Shoot! Shoot! Come on! Get out! Dirty bugger. Coping with that uncomfortable feeling when you bump into someone whose name you just can't remember. I find hey, that the Damien, how are you? Damien? <laughs> There it is, Sam, in the distance. The volcano that marks the end of our journey. For there we shall discard of this ring. The ring that has cursed us for so long. After all this time. After all this time, my friend. We've reached the end of our journey. We've reached the end of our journey. We've suffered such loss. Oh, how I've suffered. One thing I've been meaning to ask. Ask, my friend. Why didn't we just catch a cab like the others? Yeah, it's heaps hotter than they forecast. Cool, looks inviting. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm up for it. Me too. Come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. You coming, Damo? Oh, no, I don't have my bathers. Don't worry about it, mate. Just wear your undies. Oh, I don't know. Come on! Don't be shy. Come on! Come on! Come on. Biology Brain Buster. Mark's in the lead on 45. Stacey's next on 35. And Gavin's got some catching up to do on 30. All set? Let's go. A part of the male reproductive system, I'm a spongy tissue that expands and contracts when filled with blood. I also contain the urethra, which is part of the urinary system. A five-letter word starting with P. I am the... Stacey. Penis. Correct. Sounds like it's time for the slang challenge. Extra points for three slang words for penis. Uh, schlong, wiener and bellend. Three from three. Well done, Stacey. 15 bonus points. Take me with a lead on 55. On with the game. I am a part of the female reproductive system. I am a muscular hollow tube. That's three to five inches in a grown woman. Stacey. Donger? No, part of the female reproductive system. I'm connected to the cervix and uterus. Mark. Boner. No, part of the female reproductive system. Willie. No, this is now just for Gavin. A six-letter word, starting with V. I am the... Starting with V. Six-letter word. I can't say it, I'm too embarrassed. Knob. No, this is just for Gavin. Man pickle. Just for Gavin. Six-letter word, Gavin. Should be easy. 
starting with me. I'm too embarrassed to say it. Looks like we're out of time. The answer is, of course... <laughs> well, the answer is... Uh, I think we all know the answer. Say it. No, you say it. No! You've got to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm embarrassed. Say it! <laughs> yeah. Say it! You guys having a good time? I'm happy. I'm going to the bar. Do you want another one? Yeah, I'm not with like this one. Hi. Oh, he cried! Kevin's out the back. Where do I put these, mate? In the bath, mate. <laughs> spot the person who used to be on home and away oh god you frightened me <laughs> uh terry this is an intervention as your friends we've had enough what do you mean you can't go on like this we don't want to see you like this what is it a alcoholism a drug addiction a gambling problem no terry you're just a dickhead yeah you're really annoying really it's just gotten out of control we're only saying this because we can barely tolerate you, and we do so mostly out of guilt. Like, I wanted to punch you in the head for about three years now. I didn't realise. Like, really bloody punch you! I thought Gary was the dickhead of the group. Gary's a bit of a dick, but you're much more annoying. I'm not a dickhead. I'm cool, and you guys know it. Terry, that's classic dickhead behaviour. I mean, we didn't want to do this to you, Terry, but you're just such a tool. <laughs> oh, such a tool. Ooh. My noble brothers, it is no easy task for which we are gathered here today. We must attack the castle, and we must do it as one. Are you ready to attack the castle? Sorry. Are you ready to do battle for our king? Yes! Our country? Yes! And our God? Yes! Then it is time! May God be on our side! Attack! Blokes are gonna have to take your shoes off. Cut it out, Jono. <laughs> I'll do it properly this time. A bunch of flowers can really brighten a person's day when you're giving them for no reason at all, just as a surprise, to be nice. But it's different when you've done something wrong, like you're apologising for doing something stupid. That's what these are for. Hopefully she won't be too mad. Hey, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> just about ready to go here, all looking to the lights. And we're off at the Learner Driver Classic. Pretty well in theory, Kevin, but I still stand by what I said before. Who are we to play God? We are the coaches, and Flanagan's coming off injured. All right, all right. God, you're on. Not big fella. Bill, who or what could have done this? Crop circles. It's those bloody aliens again. <laughs> Why don't you piss off? Get out of here, 
bloody mangroves. K N O B. No. That is nine points. Thank you very much. A L T R U I S M. Altruism. What's that? Altruism. It's like looking after the welfare of others. That takes my grand total up to 106. Never heard of it. Altruism. It's like the opposite of egoism. Come on, mate. What? You know what? Only real words. It is a real word. Hands up those who think he made it up. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Have another go. Points, one for each cheek. <laughs> I think the majority of people couldn't care less. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> That's her over there. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, she's nice. Yeah? Yeah. So you're interested? For sure. OK. Jane, this is the last time I'm doing this for you, OK? OK. Hey, James. How are you? Oh, Jane, this is a friend of mine, Roger. Hi, Roger. Hi, Jane. Oh, look, I'm just going to go and get a drink. I'll be back in a flash, OK? Okay, right. So, how's your vagina? <laughs> right, who threw that? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I think so. I can't believe he's gone. Mm, funerals are never easy. Just think good thoughts about him. Ten dollar cover charge, mate. What? Cover charge? Yeah, there's an organist playing. A few people in there. But I'm a friend of the deceased. Yeah, yeah everyone says that. Ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, I want a stamp. I can get back in later on. <laughs> yes, well. Let me go. <laughs> Leave me alone. Stay off the wine, mate. <laughs> you make me sick. Any to report, Private? Captain, enemy reinforcements have arrived and they're coming straight for us. I oh, know. I'm so scared. Captain, there's over 200 of them. Not oh, 200. Yeah, I'll just cat me dad. Sir, we must retreat immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's run away like little scaredy cats. Man, our position here is quite safe. Now, while you've been cowering around like lily-livered chickens, I've secured the position. Right, and then, into my fort. Come on, there's room for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Check this out! You can even see when they're coming! <laughs> Both you and your baby are in perfect health. Oh, when can we see him? Well, any second now, I think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I thought that was your baby. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, you, you were the worst. You were like, oh, my baby. It, wasn't. it was just your watermelon. Oh, that's so funny. Can you please just bring in our baby? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're just, we're just having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, look, we just want to see our baby. Of course. Of course you do. I'm sorry. Um, oh, here he is. Here he is. We got you again! You don't know what it's your baby again! You have no idea! Stop it! Just bring us our son! Now! Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> How are you, mate? Haven't seen you in ages, eh? Still having a bit of the old tennis? No, I haven't played for a while, actually. Got to have it sometime. What do you say? Maybe a little bit of dunk. Whack of golf. What do you reckon? Yeah. Huh? yeah. You're looking fit, though, eh? Still kicking the footy around, eh? Still going for a few spaggies. Ah, get in there. No, no, I don't do that anymore. Look, no? I gotta. But you're buff! Look at you, you're buff! You must be working the buys, huh? huh? Working the old pixel, the old flats, huh? What do you reckon? <laughs> hey, you're a lean mean fight machine. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. You wanna know what's going on for me? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. My kids are in therapy, my business is stuffed, and my wife's still having an affair. You happy? Oh, with that cricketer? No, <laughs> with a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you. What do we want? Less, Less pressure. pressure. When do we want it? Don't, Don't hassle me. me. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't get it. Last week we couldn't keep up with the demand for rice, and this week no one wants it. All right, okay, oh yeah, come on down to the rock and roll. Oh, I think I see the problem. We're headed out. I can go and stand the Jenny, this rose represents mummy. <laughs> and that ride on mower represents the bus that ran mummy over. Okay, where are we here? The enemy is there. <laughs> So we should probably move here. <laughs> well, all that's left for me to do now is to complete and sign the death certificate. Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Kendall. There's so much finality associated with the death certificate. No, it's not that. It's just... It's the first certificate he's ever gotten. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty hopeless at everything. Right, well, I'll just forward it on to the registry. Can't even at least present it to him? <laughs> well, um... Sure, why not? Um, Brian, here's your death certificate. Um, can't you at least do a little spiel with that? OK, um... Brian, what can I say? Um, I've seen a lot of deaths in my time, and without doubt this rate's amongst the best of them. So, Brian, for outstanding effort in dying, it would be a great pleasure to present you with this death certificate. Well done. It's OK, honey, I've called for help. They'll be here soon. I'm fine. It's best to be on the safe side. Here they are. Hey! You're gonna be all right. You are my best mate in the whole world. What's going on? You're supposed to be paramedics. Oh, uh, I called the paralytics. <laughs> that you? Look at that. I can't believe David Beckham's staying at this hotel. I'm gonna get his autograph. Oh, you better get in the other line then. We're waiting for a route. <laughs> oh, I love koalas. How cute are they? You know, they say that the eucalyptus leaves that koalas eat cause a similar chemical reaction to that of using marijuana. Is that right? Hmm. Well, that explains everything then. <laughs> oh, look, that one's got a high score. Oh, cute. <laughs> Slide, but with drought ravaging the country and water restrictions in full force, it's just not right to waste water. Right, kids? Well, chill out, because here at Mentel, we've got the answer. It's the Mentel Slip and Slide Drought Edition. It's all the fun of Slip and Slide, but without the water waste. Slip and Slide Drought Edition will give you hours of fun in the sun. Slip and Slide Drought Edition. It's fun for everyone. Hey, Mom? And coming soon to Mantel, Sprinkler, the Drought Edition. And the Drought Edition Swimming Pool. Mantel, let your imagination do the work. This is incredible. Will you look at that? Oh, look, 
Ringo tracks. Man, he right there, darling. Man, he. Now this, this is the striped coral snake. It looks innocent enough, but it's one of the deadliest reptiles on the planet. Now, one bite from this can bring down an elephant in under a minute. I'm gonna have to be very careful. You're all right, Tommy. And they're mean-tempered little buggers too. Be careful, honey. Oh, 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 screw. I feel so alive. Oh, oh. Anti terrorism hotline. Go ahead, please. I'd like to report some suspicious activity that may have a bearing on the security of our democracy. Is this activity happening right now? Yes. Yes, it is. Could you describe this activity? I can see a group of men. They've got beards and turbans. Where are you calling from, sir? Um, the star of Bengal Indian Restaurant. <laughs> program is rated R. Foxtel advises viewers that this program has been repeated 9,463 times. You gotta love the children, but don't touch those children.